Hello everyone, so it's 4.52am in the morning now and I didn't intend this video to be very long but I'd just like to talk a little bit about something called uh, Delayed Sleep Phase Syndrome, DSPS. Um, it goes under other names but for the purpose of this video what I shall call it the Delayed Sleep Phase Syndrome. Um, now this is basically a sleeping problem um, it's something I've struggled with for a very, very long time, uh, going back to about 2001, so it's almost 11 years now. Um, for those who don't go through this, it's uh, probably quite hard to understand, um, and for those who do, they'll be able to empathise with this video. Basically, there's, I should emphasise at this point, I'm not a psychologist so I'm speaking purely about my experiences with the SPS here, not, I'm not getting into some sort of comprehensive um, evaluation of the medical side of it, but more what it feels like. Um, times it's very frustrating. Um, if you struggle with DSPS, that means your sleeping pattern is very irregular. It's not the same as insomnia. insomnia. Insomnia means you cannot get to sleep. With delayed sleep phase syndrome, you do get tired and you can sleep when you're tired. But it's more to do with the fact that your sleeping pattern is irregular. So for example, I've just said it's 4, 4.54 now, AM, AM. Um, now any normal pattern would influence fatigue at this point. It would mean that I was uh, tired. Most normal people would be tired, although I don't like that expression, normal people, but anyway. No, I'm not tired at all. My mind's very active. Um, I may look tired, but I'm, I'm really not. And yet, I know that if I stay up all night, then I'll be sleeping a good bit of tomorrow, and therefore, I won't get a lot done during the day when when it seems to matter. Now I do work at night time, I do productive things at night time. I will job search occasionally, I'll do I'll do things which can be considered productive. Um, but sleeping throughout a good bit of the day, waking up about six PM one small side effect is migraines, it can lead to that, but it also leads with um, anger at oneself for not being able to control it better. Now, DSPS can be controlled just about, but the only way to do that is to force yourself to go through the whole next day. So if you stay up all night, to force yourself to go through the whole next day. I do drink a lot of coffee. Um, and I've tried to cut down on that. I also take uh, something called um, CAMS, which is a herbal medicine. And you don't need a prescription for that. You can just buy it in uh, Wilkinson's, which is a big store here in the UK. Uh, um, now, a lot of British people have sleep problems, so I'm certainly not the only one with this problem. But I want to make this video just to... Um, see if anyone else has experiences of DSPS. Um, I can control it, like I say. I'll have periods where my sleeping pattern is relatively normal. I'll go to bed about 11pm, wake up about 8am, something like that, which is a good cycle, but um, what I would like to, the point I would like to emphasize with this is it should not be confused with laziness. I can get a lot of productive work done during the night. Um, I'm an amateur writer. I get a lot of work done with that. Um, basically, you, you can do all the things that you would do during daytime, with the one difference being that the only communication you have with other people might be online with... Um, people on the other side of the world, whereby, where the sleeping, sorry, the time zone will be uh, daytime. And that 
isn't really very social. Um, it's not a very pleasant feeling. It's not painful, but it's... There are times, of course, if I have a job interview, for example, the next day I'll have to force myself to get up. Um, if I'm teaching a student, I'll have to force myself to get up. So there are situations, but what you need to understand about DSPS, if you're not familiar with it, if you're sitting there and thinking, oh, you're a lazy bugger, just, just get up. It doesn't work like that. Um, you know, it's when your pattern is completely displaced, it's very, very, very hard to get it back into a normal time frame. And I, I cannot really trace the reason why this started. Maybe it's because my mind is much more active at night time. But for me, this is normal. It's 5 a.m. and that's normal. It's, um, it's a little bit lonely because a lot of people really don't understand this. They would interpret it as laziness or you're being a slacker or something like that. But it really isn't the case. It's more to do with, um, well, it's a sleeping disorder, so to speak. My mind is very active at night time, um, which means I stay up very late. I sleep well into the day, the regular day. Um, what I'd like to do now, after this video, maybe sleep for a while, for a few hours, get up and then force myself to sell to say 11. Now that is possible but it's very hard. So this video, um, let me know if you have experienced this problem, the SPS, let me know what you've done. Um, let me know your thoughts. Um, also maybe if you suffer from another sleeping disorder such as insomnia, like I say it's not the same thing exactly but I'm interested in hearing people's perspectives on this. Um, that's it. DSPS, I hope I can um, snap out of this thing at some stage. Personal responsibility comes into it, like I say, I can just about force myself to get out of it, but it's, it's very, very hard. And, um, yeah, what's your thoughts? Okay, thank you.